All right, folks, here I am again with uh, <clears throat> the new Garrett uh, ATX and the new MindLab SDC 2300. wanted to go over uh, a little anomaly I found here between the two detectors, specifically with the MindLab, on this little nugget here. The MindLab has problems with it, detecting it. And I'm going to explain possible the reason why. And a few other targets it was a little weaker on. Now, this particular target ground bound, or, uh, rings up, I think, a 63 on my AT Gold the number and uh, this little problem seems to be with the ground balance and how it how it ground balance and tracks and the reason is this is a single pulse single channel detector just like the White's TDI now the Garrett is like the GPX series uh, multi pulse multi channel so that means uh, the other pulse the other channels that are pulsing <coughs> can make up for the one channel that's not uh, hitting these properly and what I mean by that is uh, the decay. The decay on the target could match the decay on the ground in a pulse machine. And since this is a single channel, single pulse detector, uh, it might uh, have a problem with some targets. So I'm going to demonstrate that here for you again. Got a little five inch hole right there. And the, the mine lab does hit it, right? But it sounds a lot weaker than the Garrett. And the reason being, it's probably on the side of the hole. Right. These kind of machines can have a hole where it totally eliminates the target. And it's really easy to do on the White's TDI because it's manual ground balance. This one's a little trickier because it tracks all the time. You really don't know where the hole is. So this one, it does detect this nugget. And uh, that means it's on the side of the hole. And if you're not on your game, you can actually miss it. I'm going to demonstrate that here for you in a second with these two detectors. So I'm going to bury it at a 5-inch hole. This ground is uh, like medium hot, not too hot, not too mild. All right, so we'll be back with this test so I can explain it to you. All right, so I got the uh, 2300 here, <clears throat> and I got it on uh, factory setting at first, and I got the nugget right there. We're going to scan it, see how it does. Hear a little poppity poppity. I know where the nugget is, and I don't think I'm getting it. It's right there. Right there. So we'll go up in power a little bit. We'll go to four. And I got the threshold on two. See, it's a little more, a little more hairy. And I already did the frequency scan on both detectors. So this one uh, acts a little crazy for some reason. I'm in the middle of nowhere, too, see? Right, so we'll scan here like I normally would in the field. Could you, could you tell where I hit it? I know where it is. It's right here, right there. A little bit of rise. Now I go, I go real slow right on top of it. You could definitely miss that in the field. It is hitting it a little bit. Let's see. Right there, her little rise. All right, that means it's on the side of the hole, like I explained before. It's not totally eliminating the target, but it's not really getting it as good as the ATX will. Here you'll see in here in a minute. That means it's on the side of the hole. We'll put it on five power. It's gonna be a little more erratic. See that? A little crazier. We'll pick it up better though. Right there. Anyway, so this is the hole that I have discovered in this machine, and it's because it's a single pulse, single channel machine, just like the TDI. That is the problem with this. So you might not even know if you miss anything. Crazy machine. It this one moves around though. The hole's gonna move around so it's auto tracking. Anyway, other than that, it's a really kick-ass machine. And I picked up a lot of targets with it, so, you know, it sees some and it misses others, just like all other machines, but it's right here. Did you hear the rise? Then it tracked it out. So, we're kind of on the edge of the hole here on this machine. I'm going to cut this off and grab that uh, ATX here. Be back in a sec. All right, here we are with ATX. We're on uh, stock setting at first, just like the uh, 2300. We'll sweep it like we did the other one. 
We're on, uh, yeah. There it is right there. So on stock setting, we're getting it. And you know that you know that you know there's something there because it didn't make a sound until we hit it. See? Quiet, quiet, quiet. No hole. No hole because it's pulsing multiple times and multiple channels. Now let's run it up to max like we did on the other one. 13. It, it shall scream. A little sweeping, sweeping. Really loud there. Scanning, scanning like you're detecting, hitting the ground. A little unstable this coil. Loud and clear. So that folks is the difference between single channel Single pulse, multiple pulse, multiple channel detectors. So the ATX and the GPX series do this. And the TDI and the new SDI, SDC2300 are the single channel, single pulse detectors. And you might miss a few things. Sometimes you never know where the hole is. On this particular target, the Mind Lab uh, does pick it up, so it means it's on the side of the hole. So there you go. I'm gonna dig up my little nugget. Should be five, maybe six inches actually. There it is. There's the head of it. All right, so let's do a little conclusion here. Conclusion here is they're both fantastic machines. This one's a little pricey. You've heard me talk about that. I hate it. Just hate the price of these things. What is my lab doing that for, man? But anyway. It's the way it is. So you're paying that much for a single pulse, single channel detector. You might miss a little nugget in here. So you can see it on the back there. I guess I'll open it up for you. There she is. Just fell out. Anyway, an ATX is a little cheaper price. And it has the same similar technology as the GPX series. Multiple pulsing, multiple channels. So anyway. I do like both of them. Just thought I'd uh, describe that little quirk for you about the, uh, the Nuno Mind Lab. There you go, folks. Signing out from Oregon. Be in California in about a week and a half. See ya.